Yo, what's up, guys? Go here, Razor Tons, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys a sort of review over the beta of Infinite Warfare, which came out last week. Which I know it's kind of a little bit late to be doing this, but I want to at least give my thoughts and kind of tell you guys what's gonna be happening with the whole Infinite Warfare situation, which you guys really don't know about. But I'll be stating this in the video. First of all, I want to be saying that I probably won't be getting Infinite Warfare on its release. I'll be getting it sometime later within the year, or at least early 2017. Sort of financial issues and everything, which I really don't want to get into about that. I don't know if I'll be able to get, I really don't know if I'll be able to actually get Infinite Warfare exactly on release date, or at least sometime in this year. So it'll be like next year and everything, but in the meantime, I'll be doing other commentaries, I'll be doing other challenges and everything. I'll at least be doing something fun. And I'll be playing other games, which I know I like doing. And you guys probably like watching, so, you know. Something a little bit different on this channel. Which, you know, you guys will be still, you'll still be seeing the old regular Call of Duty video every so often. But, you know, I can't just be playing the same game or same game type over and over and over again. But, on to review. I really like Infinite Warfare. I don't know why. Compared to the, B, compared to the Black Ops 3 beta... I liked Infinite Warfare, like, probably way better than, than you know, Black Ops 3. And I'm not just saying it just because it's something new. I mean, like, unlike other people, I actually enjoyed Advanced Warfare to an extent. I mean, there, it has its negatives, but I enjoyed it to an extent. And Ghost, like, it, it has the vibe, like, it has the feel that I'm playing Ghost. Because of the sniping and the whole, like, quick, like, you die so fast in that game. But, like, it feels like a mix between Ghost and like black ops 3 but it's not like so much of black ops 3 like like black ops 3 was so hard to get at the first time and still kind of playing it to this day like you can't smile mindlessly go around shooting in black ops 3 like you have to like i guess you could say have skill but like i don't know that game like like playing the infinite warfare and just getting the controller and going into the first game i mean i felt like i could do this because you know i felt like i could do this but like I felt like it was something that like I've played before, but like it was something new, and it had that sense of like I could probably actually hit a cliff in this game. I could really good clip this game, so you know, like I was really good at Ghost, and I feel like once I get my hands on Infinite Warfare and the remastered, probably I'll be doing like really good, and I'll probably be doing like oh my god, I'll probably be hitting some insane bankers, you know, all that game. So you know, hopefully in the future when I ever do get that game. I'll be hitting like some really nice bangers for you, but um, the, the maps on the beta, um, only real favorite was Precinct and then the Terminal, which they let everyone play. And if okay, here's a tip: if you guys, if you get B and let them get A and C, you can spawn trap them with like the um that C-ish type spawn, like they spawn back there. I mean that's a spawn trap and everything you can get them at, but um, that's just like. I feel like that's the best spot they put on that map. Like, out of everything that could happen, that's the best spot. Um, sniper is a longbow. It shoots. It takes forever to shoot. Like, I mean, it's powerful and everything, but like, you can barely get a quad feed going on. The EBR has too much kick. If the kick was reduced some, which it probably will be. I mean, it'll be a viable sniper, kind of like the Lynx and everything. But the EBR actually turns into an assault rifle, and I feel like. I don't know, I feel like I have a weird attachment to this gun, like, I really like it just because it turns to an assault rifle, and like, I'm an AR type person, and also a submachine gun, I mean, also a sniper type person, so I feel like that's going to be one of the guns, like, I'm going to be using a lot, and like, uh, I don't know, it's weird. And then, the god of all guns, uh, the Widowmaker, it's like an MSR and a Ballista had a baby, and, and it was the Widowmaker, oh, and the PO6, like, the weird love triangle. Like, it shoots two bullets, and, like, I think it could kill in one bullet. It doesn't need the second shot, but still, it still is really good. It shoots really fast. I feel like that's the gun everyone's going to be using once the beta comes out. Next to the Intervention, which is in there. And, like, that's, like, they have, like, the old school weapons in there. And I feel like once, you know, once they're able to get their hand on the Intervention, they probably might not use the, inter the Widowmaker. Oh, they might even swap the in there, because when you have, um fast hands or something you swap like instantly fast so like probably a lot of people doing swap feeds with the intervention and the litter make which is something i'll probably be doing too but yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it i mean beta i would rate as in like a 7 out of 10 like it had really good parts and then it had like 
I guess like the frags in there that, that was really annoying the whole cluster grenades and everything I guess that was really annoying so like it, I give it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 on the beta maybe the game would be probably a 7 out of 10 think about it but uh one final thing actually I can't forget about is the supply drop it has it's the system is similar to um black ops 3 and everything but except like you can actually earn the variants I guess like there's different variants for each gun and like if you get the salvages from like I think leveling up I guess I think that's how you got it and from um supply up you get those salvages and that like 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 let's say for instance using an AW you wanted the um the silver bullet there's previous versions of that gun you could get like you could get with those salvages and you have to buy those previous ones and able to get that variant like that legendary variant you want so I feel like that gives a way for people to, you know, to grind for it and get the weapon that they want. But still there's those chances that you could get it in supply drop and just skip way over it. And I mean like that just adds on to it. I and mean, there's different ways of getting weapons. Like you don't have to, you know, have really good luck. You can just play the game a lot and get it. And that's I guess that's better improved on than just people buying a ton of supply drops. I mean you can play the game. There's probably still be people who want to buy that. Like actually buy like I, I bet there's gonna be a way to buy salvage and everything and you know I mean that's just you but I, I'm probably just gonna grind my way out and get like every gun unlocked and everything. So and, and one more thing, the specialist. I mean I don't really like them all. I mean I don't even like like I don't find them as useful as like the ones in Black Ops 3 were or like the situations of me using. The only one I really I don't know, I guess the only one I really used was the robot with the um the pistols or something. The sniper one, it sh that thing shoots slow. Like it shoots stupidly slow. I mean I know it's powerful, it shoots it shoots way too slow. And I mean maybe maybe they'll add more specialists, maybe that wasn't really all the specialists in that game. I mean and they weren't too good. I mean they had its abilities and the traits, which I guess the best trait for all of them for me was the ping from the Merc. And that's really only like I use for the rest of the rest of the um all the um, the beta. I mean like eh, eh, well, eh. As the specialists in this game were lackluster compared to the other ones. And then the customization that you could do. Eh, where it, it, it didn't really fit. It didn't really fit what I liked, but yeah. The specialists on the hand, I guess that probably is why I'm probably gonna drop down to like a six on it, but I'm um, basically the whole movie view of uh, the beta being like a six out of ten. Well, if you guys, I'm gonna put clips at the end of this video, so clips that I did in the beta. I've only had like about four or five clips, so I'm putting that towards the end of the video. If you like the, if you like the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more from me, subscribe. I know I just talked through the whole time, I didn't cut it up like usual, but you know, I feel like trying something different, talking through the whole thing instead of you know, just cutting from pieces and just kind of having a moment to where like I can see that I actually stutter through this, and uh, my commentaries will be getting better in the future. And everything so you know stay tuned subscribe it's been your red it's been your boy res aka jonathan i'll see you guys in the next episode or video or whatever peace We're in the lead. UAV on standby. You're halfway there. Keep it up.
You ain't just gonna stand by. 